In this MMP1 tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to set up a bass management system for a 5.1 speaker setup. So let's uh, let's start with the setup wizard. If we go over here to the file menu, I'm going to start a new configuration, and I want to use the setup wizard. We're going to make this real simple just to get to the bass management part of it. 48k, 5.1 speaker setup, yes. The LFE filter is on. The LFE trim is set to plus 10, and bass management is turned on. Okay, let's go to the next. Um, I'm going to have one input. That's 5.1. And just, just to make this simple, just doing a simple setup. Next, 5.1 speaker system hooked up to the analog outputs. Uh, I'm not going to do any cues or talkbacks. So we can get right to it. Okay. So here is uh, the 5.1 setup with bass management turned on. Now, uh, we're not connected to the MMP1 right now. I'm going to show you the settings as they are before we actually upload this setup into the hardware unit. If we go to the speaker matrix tab, this is where things are a little bit interesting. Uh, have a look over here. We have two left channels, two right channels, two centers, one LFE, two left surrounds, and two right surrounds. So this is how this works. The first left channel has a high pass filter on it, uh, set at 80 hertz, so that the sound coming out of that output uh, is rolled off beneath 80 hertz. The second left channel has a low pass filter on it set to 80 hertz. And this one is routed out the LFE channel. Take a look. So here, the first left channel has a high pass filter set to 80. It's using a 12 decibel Butterworth filter. And the second left channel has a low pass filter on it using a 24 dB per octave Butterworth filter. And notice it is routed to this channel here. This is the LFE output sound going out here. Notice how the LFE channel is also routed to that same output, as are all of these secondary uh, channels for the left, center, right, and both surrounds. So that's how we're dividing the frequencies for those speakers. Um, we're going to send everything from 80 hertz on up out the normal outputs to those speakers. Everything from 80 hertz on down we're routing towards the LFE output, the subwoofer output. So that's how we're going to have the subwoofer do all of the low end, all of the bass from all those other channels is going to come out just the LFE channel. One thing to note here, if you are making adjustments to the bass management system, you're able to turn down the low frequency content of any one of these channels that's being fed to the subwoofer. This is a way to be able to tune the sound of each channel to ensure you're getting the proper uh, amount of bass relative to that channel. So I can adjust the gain, the trim of just the secondary output, which is going to the subwoofer like that. If you want to actually change the slope of the filters or um, some other settings, we can go to a different page here. If we go to the settings tab, and go um, to the speaker matrix sub tab underneath scene, we can see all of the speaker channels right here. Each of these speaker channels uh, has a couple of settings associated with it. One, we can determine if it's a high pass, low pass, or a through, um, as far as the filter is concerned. Um, and then we have several choices for the slope of the filter. Um, we have the 12 dB Butterworth, 12 dB Linkwitz Riley, 24 dB Butterworth, and a 24 dB Linkwitz Riley. So these choices are uh, much more subtle and really have to do with the design of your speaker system and the acoustics in your room. Um, this is something that, uh, if you have an acoustic designer, can certainly help you with these settings. Um, but we start you off with, with these settings to begin with. It's a good place to start. Here is the IIR-FIR filter choice which allows you to switch between infinite impulse response and finite impulse response. We'll talk more about that in another video. So there you have it. In the speaker matrix, we can see the secondary channels are being routed to the LFE, the subwoofer output. And uh, the secondary channels have a low pass filter. 
The primary channels have the high pass filter and they're routed to the normal channels, the normal outputs for those channels. So that's how you set up a bass management system for a 5.1 speaker set. You could of course do this for a stereo set of speakers with a subwoofer or even something like a Dolby Atmos system. Although that'll get more complicated, the MMP1 is flexible enough to set that up for you. Uh, this is just a, an example of, of how it works. So there you go. We'll see you in the next tutorial.